Hey everyone, how you doing? I'm Tim Holtz, Creative Director for Ranger Industries, and I'm here with artist photographer extraordinaire Debbie Talach, who works in the graphics department at Ranger. How's it going? Fine. So Debbie has agreed to show us how to make this. This is a sample that I saw at CHA, and although the stamp looks very familiar to me, um, I really couldn't figure out how this was done, and so she is going to give us the secrets to how to create this. All right, so this is the sample that I saw at CHA. I just loved it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I wanted to do something a little bit different, and I had seen the stamp, and I really loved it. Ooh, that stamp looks familiar. Oh, yeah, it's a Tim Holtz stamp. Wow, mm. imagine that. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Never seen it look so good, though. <laughs> yeah, and I wanted to use um, the new surfaces. All right, and this so is... This, is, this is canvas. Yes. Okay. Yes, this is our, our natural canvas. and um, now, now on the canvas, before we get started, so mm -hmm. I know that this is the sticky back canvas, but there's white and then this natural. Yes, this is a great surface if you want something a little bit less stark, you want okay. it a little bit more muted, and I thought that, that, that this stamp would be great for um, using with the natural. Cool, well, show us how you did it. Okay, I used uh, Earth Tones, the uh, Adirondack, the Espresso, all right, so this is a pigment ink. I can tell this is a pigment instead of a dye. Yes. All right. Yes, and it has what a vapor. Is that? Yeah. What the, is that the thing va for? Vapor barrier. Since okay. it has water in it, it uh, keeps it hydrated. Oh, good to know. So you keep that with the sand. Pad. Oh, absolutely. Okay. It keeps it nice and juicy. All right. I'm gonna ink it up, and I really am not being careful about this at all. I, I can really. See that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inking it up. I really, I love the. Um, I want kind of little facial stubble okay. little thing going on. Okay. <laughs> so right. let's take that and stamp it right on. And I'm really going to press it. I just really want it to fold in well, and get that facial. Get that. And plus, <laughs> plus, of course, you're stamping on canvas. Yes. Wow. That, that's cool. Yeah. All right. And Perfect. I use the cut and dry nibs. Okay. Now these, I got, I got to show like, so these, these packs, I mean, we've had these at Ranger forever. They've been a lot of different uses. So what is a nib, though? I mean, um, A nib, just it, it's plain, and what it will do is suck up the ink. Okay. And then you can use it just like you would use a pen. And then you can oh, draw, right? Look at that. So it's kind of like using a marker. I was going to say, it looks like you're using makeup, like an eyeliner oh, no. or something. Yeah, I guess it is similar to that. So the nib, I mean, it, it's flexible. I see that. Mm -hmm. But I never thought of using, of course, pigment ink for that. Oh, yeah. Pigment ink is great. I love pigment wow, ink. Look at that just come to life. I mean, that's the thing that I think I was most impressed about. I mean, I saw the image, of course, and... When I looked at it, I mean, again, I'll just throw it right back in the camera. Uh -huh. When I looked at that and I saw it, I just thought, you know, how is that not just printed? That, that can't possibly be the stamp. But now I see that you're filling in all those shadows. Yes, I'm just going along the lines and just filling in shadows. And it's really easy. Just follow what's there already. I was going to say, and I mean, just you're give an it artist, a little... so you kind of get that. But you're just following... I'm just following what's already there, really. And I really wanted him to um, pop a little bit more. So what I did was I took the stream. Okay. And. Pigment again. Got pigment it. again. All right. And I wanted him to have these really cool blue eyes. Oh. And I just filled it in a little bit. What a great, great technique. Awesome. So you just keep going back in and filling. doing your shadowing, doing your shadowing. All right. So we're going to let you do some more shadowing and then we'll come back because I'm sure there's got to be another step. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. So you're just going in. You're just kind of finishing up all your shading. That's just amazing how you kind of fill that in with that pigment ink and that nib. Oh, thank you. Yeah. There's something about this canvas I really love. It takes the pigment inks really well. Just the natural, just the fact the, that it's, it's got kind of that fuzzy... Yeah, it's untreated, and it just really, it, it works well with the pigment. Right. Great. Cool. So I'm pretty much finished with this for now. Okay. And the next thing I do is just take a little bit of water. I'm going to use some of my mini mister. All right. And I'm just going to give it a couple of little spritzes. Oh, right onto that. Right on top okay. of it, yep. Because the pigment's water-based. Yes. So 
So it, it'll start to bleed out a little bit. Okay. And, that, and give it a cool. really cool look. All right. And then I can work back a little bit more, oh, a little couple of little darkness. I see how it darkness, just kind of, yeah, it smudges out some Smudges it's out. Damp. And then what I can do also is come back with a wet brush and just give it a little bit of shadow here and there. Oh. Pull out the pigment a little bit more. True artist, look at that. Now, I notice, I mean, obviously you're holding down the canvas because it curls, but you don't have to worry about that, right? I mean, when it dries when out. When it dries, it'll, it'll, it'll flatten yeah, back flatten back. Plus, you know, you've, you've got the sticky back, so you're going to peel it and put it on whatever oh, you true. want to on the yeah, back. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So Which that, is great. You're just, you're just kind of blending it out with water. Mm-hmm, yeah. It just gives it a little bit of more of that painterly look. That's cool. Now, if you wanted more color, can you mix that with water? I mean, can you... Absolutely. You could actually probably go right on right from the pad and take a little bit more wow. and darken the shadows there wherever you wanted to. That is it's absolutely amazing. Really, I've yeah. never seen that stamp look so good. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Very cool. So once this is done, you're just going to let it dry, mm -hmm. dry with a heat tool, and then you end up with that. that. Look at yes. That. Yeah. That is cool. So, of course, the sticky back canvas, you could start with a big piece like that. That one, that's one of our ATCs. Right? Yes. Actually, I used it with the ATC size. Yes. It's great. That is impressive. Well, hey, thanks for showing that. I mean, to, to see pigment inks and, of course, on canvas with water, only you, Debbie Chalach, would think of something <laughs> so genius. Thanks, Tim. Thanks.